A special needs woman has passed away from injuries received in a two vehicle crash after the bus she was riding was involved. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for News 18 at 6 o'clock. A Samson woman died from injuries in that crash. It happened in Coffee County involving an adult daycare bus and another vehicle. Tiffany McGrath joins us live in studio tonight as we begin our coverage. Tiffany, what's the latest here? Ben, the woman who passed was a passenger in the adult care van that was dropping off residents at their homes. Today, I spoke with a woman who witnessed the crash who said emergency personnel did all they could to help those involved in the crash. Well, I was right there in my kitchen and I heard a claim and then I come to the front door. June 8th was like any other day for Mary Jane Hathaway until two vehicles crashed right in her front yard on Highway 134 west of Highway 87, taking the life of 58 year old Opal Rita Parrish, who died Monday as a result of her injuries sustained in the crash. We had a traffic accident between a car and an adult care facility van with uh, nine occupants. I seen that. And a daycare bus had flipped over my yard, so I went dialing 911. Miss Parrish was a passenger in the adult care bus, which was dropping off residents when the bus and a car with one occupant had collided, causing the bus to overturn. There was a helicopter here, and there was fire rescue squads. Coffee County EMA Director James Brown says all EMS arrived to the scene, including Haynes Life Flight and Enterprise Emergency Services. Four with injuries were sent to the hospital. One was by Life Flight, and uh, three were by ground transportations. We got them here in the shade tree. I went in the house and got some back cloths where they could wash the face and arms because they was bleeding just a little bit. Brown says they are saddened by the loss of Miss Parrish and says there was no delay in emergency care. The people were taken care of the way they should have been taken care of. I think they done the best they could and they were here in no time. Shook me up for a while but I just kept asking the Lord to just be calm. Everything's going to be all right. Now the cause of the crash has not yet been determined. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency continues to investigate. All right, Tiffany, thanks for that update tonight.